Hi, my name's Debbie, Debbie Robinson, and I work for the library at West Calder. Now today we're going to make this lovely little scarecrow. Now there's a few things that you might need. One being a spoon, some scissors, a pencil, and some different coloured paper. Now, I'm going to sh give you a, a show you how I've done it, and you'll be able to, to see. First of all, I took my wooden spoon and I drew round it just to give me an idea of how big it had to be. Then I said, well, I'm going to do a hat, I'm going to do a tunic, and I'm going to do some trousers. So I drew a hat a big floppy hat i drew some a tunic and i drew some trousers and then i decided to cut them out and when i cut them out i had a pair of trousers a hat and a tunic and I know that they're all going to fit onto my wooden spoon so I then decided what colours did I want so I decided I was going to have a blue pair of trousers I'm going to have a red tunic and I'm going to have a grey floppy hat now I'm just going to finish cutting them out if I can find my scissors my trusty scissors so you, as I said, you'll need your to make sure that you know what what um, colours you would like, what would you would prefer. And my nice floppy hat here. I do like red. That's my favourite colour. So there we go, pop the tunic. And the last thing that I need just now is the trousers. Oops, there we go. Now, I also needed some yellow paper and I cut a long strip on my yellow paper and then I cut some very fine strips. And this is going to be, this is going to be the hay. And you take your, your, your tunic and we want to put some hay coming out of the arms. So now I'm going to use some double-sided sticky tape just for quickness, but obviously you can use um, glue. Tacky glue is just as good. But once you've got your sticky back plastic down and your or your glue down, you can take some of your um, your little pieces and place them as such so I've done it on the tunic I'm going to put some at either side of the hat just to make it easy thought this would be easy <laughs> Just put it straight down, make it look like some hair is coming off. There we go. I just think that should be enough. And you can also put it at the bottom of your trouser leg as well. But I think what we'll do is we'll get sticky and get this on to our spoon. 
So, again, you can use some craft glue or some, um, oh, if you can get your craft glue out. There we go. And I'm going to stick, first of all, I'm going to stick my hat on. I'm going to put it at a slight angle because I think that all scarecrows need a, a dippy hat. And then I'm going to put my tunic on. And my trousers. underneath there we go and we can see how it's building up now I can also put I'd like to put a flower on so I've got some yellow paper and I've cut out a flower shape I'm sure you can do that and I'm just going to stick that down I'm going to use my pen got a black marker pen and I'm going to do a circle in the middle and that looks a bit like a big sunflower there we go um, I'm also going to take a piece of ribbon and I'm going to tie it around his waist make him look as if he's got something on his waist and I've also got a nice big button so I'm going to decorate them with the button. So we'll just take it and we'll put another bit of glue. There we go. Pop them down. There we go. It's taking shape again. And I'm going to now just put some facial features on him to make him look as if he's real. Now, I've taken some paper, some orange paper, um, and I've cut a corner off of square just to make a triangular nose. And I'm going to stick it to his face. Now I've already put a wee bit of sticky back paper on this, so I'm just going to put that down. And I'm going to take my black pen and I'm going to draw two eyes. And because he's a very happy, Scarecrow. I'm going to put some more there and then I'm going to take some red and I'm going to give him some rosy cheeks as well. And there we have one puppet scarecrow. Now this is one I've done earlier and as you can see I've embellished it a little more because I've put some um, some little patches on them to make them look old. I've also used a bit of a ribbon around it. So it's up to you if you've got anything lying about, you can add to it. And if you prefer, instead of using paper, you can use some material. And I've done one earlier to show you can make one with material. And this time I've used some grass instead of cutting out um, the paper and I've just attached it to the spoon and doesn't he look good so there we go a nice puppet to make I hope you enjoy making it too thank you for watching